Hey everyone, it's Welcome Be Wonderful with another video log uh, type thing. But recently I got my high school diploma and uh, <laughs> I'm surprised it took about eight years, but if you count the time that I was uh, ten years ago, it was sixteen, so it felt like ten years, but everyone knows that you graduate at eighteen, but it took me another eight, but um Graduation's coming up soon, and I'm looking forward to that with cap and gown and everything. <sighs> but, anyway... I am like CM Punk. I am straight edge. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't do any illegal substances. I'm actually a pretty cool guy. I mean, considering my high is getting high off of life, and just enjoying the moment, playing my video games, listening to my music. But, yeah, I'll show you my, uh, high school diploma in another video, but... Yeah, it's like when I saw other people, it's like smoking and drinking. I saw what it does to people, and I've seen what illegal substances do to other people, and it's like... I don't think it, it's cut out for me. I mean, you'll struggle with rehab and you'll struggle, just continue to struggle with addiction. You'll be in and out of rehab, you'll be in and out of outpatient treatment. So, I'm not bashing anyone that does that. In fact, I feel sorry for them. And eventually, hopefully, God or whatever would spiritual belief you believe in, whether you're atheist or agnostic, I'm fine with that. So, anyway, I am okay with people that do that, but please don't peer pressure me into doing something I absolutely detest and hate. So, yeah, I find there's really no point on getting high off of weed, even if it's illegal now. I, I don't care for that stuff. I don't like the smell. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, another thing is, is that, y if you really think about it, addiction will mess up your life, it'll straight up ruin your family ties with your whole family, whether it be your spouse, kids, brother, sister, it affects everything. That's why I prefer being me. Of course, people can say that I look feminine, but I actually like women more. Such as being a straight arrow in the straight edge. That's my whole philosophy. It's like CM Punk, but in, in my own way, it's me. That's why I'm that type of person, even though uh, <laughs> I was bullied for most of my uh, teen life and stuff, but, yeah, and you've seen my whole collection of video games, which I stated that in one of my other videos, about how much I got, also the manga, and I got anime conventions, I like anime and video games the most, and by anime I do mean the manga as well, and one of these days, you're gonna have to see what's in my room, all the posters and everything, if that's interesting. But, when I was in the sixth grade, I had to go through the D.A.R.E. program, which told me, don't do drugs, don't smoke. And my family members, my parents, and my brother told me not to smoke or drink, so it was by family wishes, of course. <laughs> Two years ago, or, yeah, it was two years ago, I think, or it was last year, but I had to deal with a uh, classmate of mine in college that was well into his early 30s, and he was trying to get me to do this stuff, and of course, there was one time in the summer where I was actually wearing shoes and socks with shorts, and I learned that that's a fashion fail, but, um, yeah, uh, I've had friends that been through, uh, <laughs> AA and all that stuff that, and it's not worth it. 
why ruin your life and make yourself look like a complete loser? Of course, I love my addicted friends and family, or technically my brothers and sisters that are not related to me by blood. Because I actually have pity for them because some few people that were relatively close to me actually suffered from addiction or alcoholism. So, yeah, I have a peace of mind when, of course, when you're a hermit, of course I'm trying not to be a hermit right now, I actually have to be out there looking for a job and getting a job and getting paid. Of course, yeah. I like my straight edge ways because I think I live happier being just the way I am. Of course, I'm a teetotaler and then I'm also a tea drinker, so two things. And I do love me some herbal tea and natural caffeinated tea. Of course, I drink herbal half, like, consistently and religiously. Herbs are pretty good. It's pretty organic. Then there's chai flavor, or chai tea, which that's pretty good. Cabinet and everything from the leaves, but doesn't give me that caffeine buzz. It actually makes me feel relaxed and calm. That's what chai does, and it's so good. And, yeah, that's basically me in a nutshell. I'm a pretty simple-minded person. I don't have that one-track thinking. Of course, I would like or love to get a Wii U at some point. Hopefully Christmas would help. Maybe. Or my birthday. Who knows? Oh well. Doesn't matter. Or a Nintendo 3DS or a 2DS. That'd be nice. But that's probably things you didn't know. And uh, that guy on that Trump rant, it actually makes me laugh. I mean, he would say those things, he double posted. And I'm so tempted to say, you know what, man, I think you need a hug and I love you, man. No homo or anything. Because it actually made me laugh and smile. And he can say that I'm high on dope. I didn't really change. I'm not changing because I'm already a rational type thinking person. Whether I offend people on their political views. But... <sighs> That's what it means to love someone unconditionally. And of course, it shouldn't have to be for just the Christians and every other religion. It should be 50-50 with agnostic, atheist, and everything else that have a spiritual belief. But that's me talking about what I am and who I am about things you would never know about me. So this is Small Tummy Wonderful, or STW, signing off. Bye-bye now.